In this video, we'll be going over search insert position. So given an assorted array of distinct integers and a target value, return the index if the target is found. If not, return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order. So in our first example, we have 1, 3, 5, and 6, and our target is equal to 5. 5 is found in, our, in the input array at index 2, so return 2. In our second example, we have 1, 3, 5, and 6, and our target is equal to 2. 2 is not inside our input array, but it can, it can be inserted at index 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. So let's first go over the dot process. We are trying to look for elements. Elements or insert position inside a sort array. When when looking for when looking for an element inside a sort array, the most optimal approach will be to use binary search. So for each of the elements at index mid, if nums mid is equal to target then we have found our element so we can just return the index so we will return mid if nums mid is less than target so in this example if, if our current target is good to two if our target is good to two and we're currently at index zero here if one is less than two we want to search rightward from mid plus one from mid plus one. Then if nums mid is greater than target. So in this example, if we're currently at index at this index of the number three and three is greater than two, this this may or may not be the insertion index. So we need to search to the left with three inclusive. So we need to search to the left with mid inclusive. Let's go over the pseudocode. So we'll create two variables. Left, the current left boundary. And then right, the current right boundary. Initially at the end of the array. Then we'll program our binary search while left is less than right. Calculate the mid index. If nums mid is equal to target, we have found our target index. So we can return mid. And then else if nums mid is less than target, we need to search to the right with mid inclusive. So we set left equals to mid plus right, uh, mid plus one. And then else we search to the left with mid inclusive. And then if nums left is less than target, this means the whole input array has elements which are less than the target. So in this example, we have one, three, five, and six, where all of the elements is less than target. So our insertion index is right after the end of the array at index four. So we have to return left plus one. Else we can just return our insertion index at return left. Let's go over the time and space complexity. Then time complexity is equal to O of log of n, where n is the length of the input array. This is for the binary search. Then our space complexity is equal to O of 1, because we're not creating any extra data structure. Let's go through the code. So create our two boundaries. Perform binary search. Calculate mid index. And then if nums mid is equal to target, we have found our target index. So we turn mid. And then else if nums mid is less than target, then we need to search to the right. 
So we said left is equal to mid plus one. Else we search to the left with mid inclusive. And then return if nums at left is less than target. That means the whole input rate is less than target. So return left plus one. Else return, just return left. Let me know if, if you have any questions in the comment section below.